for today's story, I want you guys to get ready. And really, before I even read the story, get your minds ready to imagine every part of the story problem that I'm about to read to you. Thumbs up if you remember how we talked about making a movie in your mind. Imagining characters and people and the things and the changes that are happening in this math problem. Thumbs up if you remember that movie in your mind that we talked about. Put your hands down now. That's what I would like you to do as I read the story. Okay, I'm going to read it two times. The first time, imagine it. And the second time, imagine it with even greater detail. Okay? Before we begin, I want to ask you with a thumbs up, yes or a thumbs down, no. Who knows what my little ponies are? Thumbs down. My little ponies are these little dolls. They're ponies. And they have different colored hair and different names, I should say, and tails different colored skin and sometimes like a little um, a design on them. Mm -hmm. I want you to imagine that toy. And most of you said you know what it is. Can you close your eyes and imagine that toy? Because this story problem involves my little pony. Close your eyes and imagine. What color ponies do you see in the collection? Are there multiple colors? What is the color of their eyes or the name? And the color of the pony's skin. Is there a design on the pony's skin? Imagine a collection of them. What kinds of designs and hair colors and skin colors and eye colors did you see? Can you turn and talk with your neighbor? multiple ones that were like the same, the entire one collection, a couple of them were the same. So keep those images in your mind because we're going to read the story that involves my little pony. Okay? Let me read it and I want you to make a movie in your mind about this story problem. Here we go. Talia has four bags of my little pony. There are three in how many My Little Ponies does Talia have? You're imagining the story? And I can tell some of you are already thinking about what the story is asking you to do. Right now, I'm going to ask you to make a movie in your mind again as I read it a second time. And if you'd like to silently act out what the story is saying, feel free to do that with your hands in your spot, okay? Here we go. Eyes up. One, two, three. Talia has four bags of My Little Pony. There are three in each bag. How many My Little Ponies does Talia have? I saw a lot of us making motions and acting out this story. What is the story talking about? What is the story talking about and what is it asking us to do? I'm going to talk with your neighbor. What is the story asking us to do? How many does she have? I already know the answer. I already know the answer. What do you think the problem's asking you to do? So what's happening in that problem? 
What do you? What could you do if you don't know? You can read it more. Okay, try that. Did that help you when you reread it? Okay, so go ahead. Okay, one, two, three, all eyes on you. One, two, eyes on you. I saw and I heard some really great thinking. Um, Madeline, Maverick, and I were talking about how there are certain things and details in the story that we know for sure. Right, Madeline, do you want to share out what we know for sure from the story problem? Go ahead. In your... Um, there's four bags of My Little Ponies, and there's three, Sean, My Little Ponies in each bag. Thumbs up if you agree with what Madeline just said. Great. Thumbs down. I also saw some great math thinking. You know what I saw you guys doing that's so smart? You were all looking back at the story problem. You were making sure that you were bringing your thinking back to what the problem said, which is so smart to reread and make sure we know exactly what the problem says so that we know what we're doing, right? Now, before I send you off to solve this, I want you to think about a strategy that you're going to use to help you figure out what the answer is to this problem. What are you going to do as a mathematician to figure out this problem? Are you going to use a tool? Are you going to start with this step first and then that step? What is your strategy? What is your plan? Think about it and give me a thumbs up when you have a plan. Think about it and give me a thumbs up when you have a plan. What's your plan for figuring out this problem? Using my fingers. Using your fingers? Those are the tools you're going to use? What's your plan for figuring out this problem? You're going to use 15 cubes? Oh, why are you going to use 15 cubes? I'm going to count the cubes. Okay, so in case you need more, 15 sounds like a good number to use. Thank you for sharing. Again, really great planning. I heard a lot of you say, I think I'm going to use the counters and the cubes that are on the table. Um, some of you said, I might start drawing in my notebook or getting out my hundreds and using that. I'm glad you're thinking about what tools you have and how you're going to solve this problem because it's actually different numbers on the story problem that I'm going to give you, okay? When you go to your seats, you'll have three number sets to choose from. Think carefully and look carefully at each number set and circle the one that you feel really comfortable doing and then you can begin. The number sets are 3 and 5, 3 and 15, 3 and 25. Thumbs up if you're ready to start solving this problem. Okay, fantastic. Um, off you go to your table, and I'll, I'll pass these out.